Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about 13th problem from depreciation lesson. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telugu Academy, Inter Second Year Accountancy Textbook. But this problem is useful to all common students who want to know about depreciation topic. On this topic, I made 14 videos. I am giving the links in description box. Let us see the question first. On 1st October 2017, Raju Traders bought a machine for 15,000 rupees. Raju Traders purchased one machine for 15,000 on 1st October 2017. Additions made to the machine on 1st April 2019 were 10,000 rupees. In 13th problem, additional machinery is bought. They purchased 10,000 worth of asset on 1st April 2019. Depreciation is charged at 10% under reducing balance method, diminishing balance method, return down value method. At the rate of 10% per annum, we have to provide the depreciation. Prepare missionary account for 3 years, assuming that accounts are closed on 31st March every year. Let us see the dates first. Firm purchased a machine for 15,000 rupees on 1st April 2017. And their following financial year, no? Financial year ends with 31st March. After 1st October 17, if 31st March you have to take, then year falls in 2018. So, First year last date is 31st March 2018. If this is the last date of the year, if you count 12 months, then starting date will be 1st April 2017. So, first year is 2017 and 18. In first year, they purchased that asset on 1st October 2017. So, from October, they used this asset. So, how many months they used in first year? October, November, December, January, February, March. For six months, they used 15,000 worth asset in first year. Come to second year. In second year, there is no further purchase. So, from 1st April 18 to 31st March 19, we have same asset with us. So on 31st March 18 and on 31st March 19, firm has only one asset. Then in second year, from starting date we have this asset now. So for full year we use that asset. So on 15,000 worth asset, in first year we have to provide depreciation for 6 months. And in second year we have to provide depreciation for 12 months. Then come to third year. In third year, on 1st April 19, firm purchased another machine for 10,000 rupees. Machine is purchased on starting date of the year now. So in third year, they use this 10,000 worth they said from 1st April 19 to 31st March 20. Full year they used. So on 31st March 20, firm has two assets. 15,000 worth they said and 10,000 worth asset. Both are used from 1st April 19 to 31st March 20. Full year they used. So in first year, we used the first asset for 6 months. In second year, we used the first asset for full year. In third year, we have two assets and we used them for full year. So for 3 years he is asking, if 17, 18 is first year, then second year is 1819 and the third year is 1920. So up to 31st March 20, we have to show the asset account. See the asset account? Machine account. They bought it on 1st October 2017 for 15,000 rupees. When they purchase any asset, debit side we should write to bank, purchase value and purchase date. Now, First year last date on 31st March 18, we have to provide depreciation on this asset. By depreciation, 
asset value 15,000 into 10 by 100 into from when to when they used it? From 1st October 17 to 31st March 18. 6 months they used. So only for 6 months we should provide depreciation. Therefore 10 by 100 into 6 by 12. One numerator, one denominator we have to cancel. Seven fifty is a depreciation on first asset for six months. Now find out the balance carried out. Debit total minus credit total. Fifteen thousand minus seven fifty. Fourteen thousand two fifty. Credit side total is less. So credit side you have to write down the balance carried down. For balance carried down also write down the same date. Last date of the year. Then two sides put the totals. Now credit side total is also 15,000 rupees. So up to 31st March 20 we have to show now. Then bring the balance to next year starting date. So this balance carried down figure we have to bring to next year starting date. Date is next immediate date of this date. 1st April 18 to balance brought down 14,000 250. This is the opening balance. This is the diminishing balance. This is the return down balance of first asset on starting date of second year. Now, in second year, they use this asset from 1st April 18 to 31st March 19. Full year we used it. Therefore, you need not to consider the months. Now, this is diminishing balance method now. The main feature of this method is every year we have to provide depreciation on diminishing value of the asset. Means on the opening balance of the asset. For first year, opening balance is 15,000. For second year, opening balance of the asset is 14,250. So, on 14,250, you have to provide 10% depreciation. Then depreciation value is 14.25. Debit total is more. So find out the balance carried down. Debit total 14.250 minus credit total 14.25. 12.825. Credit side by balance carried down. 12,825. Then put the total 14,250. Second year is completed. Now continue the account for third year. Bring the balance to debit side. Date is next to immediate date of this day. 1st April 19 to balance brought down. Bring this value 12,825. This is the opening balance of first asset, 15,000 worth asset on starting date of third year. Then in third year, on the starting date, firm purchase additional missionary. So again, we have to write two bank accounts. They purchase second asset for 10,000 rupees now, write down that value. Now debit total is 22. 825. Now, in third year, from 1st April 19 to 31st March 2020, firm used two assets, 15,000 worth asset and 10,000 worth asset. Both are used for full year. So, you need not to calculate the depreciation separately. Add both, then total becomes 22,825. On that, directly 10% we can calculate. This is the advantage of diminishing balance method. When additions are made and in a particular year, if two assets or more than two assets are used for full year, then we need not to calculate depreciation separately. 
we can add all these amounts and on total value only for one time if you calculate depreciation that is enough two zeros then 22825 divided by 10 22825 divided by 10 10 twos are 20 to bring this 8 10 twos are 20 8 bring this 2 10 eights are 80 2 bring this 5 10 twos are 20 now 5 is there then what you should do put one point add one zero then 10 fives are 50 then zero now the answer is 2282.5 so value came in points you can take the value as it is or you can take round figure it is always advisable to take the round figure and what are the rules for that after point if the digit is 5 or more than 5 for example 0 0.6 came 0 0.7 came 0 0.8 0 0.9 came in that case you can add one value then how much it will be 2283 2283 you have to take as depreciation suppose after point the digit is below 5 for example 0 0.1 came 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 then you can ignore that value then the depreciation becomes 2282 now after point as digit is 5 then round of value is 2283 one number you have to add to this main value so 2283 is the depreciation then find out balance carried down debit total is more debit total 22825 minus credit total 2283 2542 is balance carried down credit side total is less therefore credit side you have to show that amount as balance carried down then put the total total becomes 22825 for three years he asked first year second year third year now account is noted closed because there are two assets and the two assets are continuing for further years also therefore for next year bring the balance and leave the problem next date is 1st april 2020 immediate next date of this date to balance problem bring this value 20542 so this is the opening balance of two assets now 15000 worth asset and 10000 worth asset so this is all about 13th problem from depreciation asset hope this video is useful to you thank you